The Baltic Sea is one of the most peculiar seas in the world. With an average depth of only 55 meters, it's much shallower than the oceans. The salinity of the Baltic Sea also varies from levels similar to the ocean to sweetwater salinity levels in the Bay of Bothnia. Because of these brackish conditions, the Baltic Sea is a highly stressful environment for most marine organisms, since the salinity is too low for most marine species and too high for most freshwater species. Still, a mixture of species from both have managed to adapt to this environment. This is also a relatively young sea, so the colonization of species since the last glacial period is still ongoing. And for this reason, the Baltic has a very unique and fragile system, where each species plays an important role in maintaining the structure and dynamics of the system as a whole. If one species disappears, it may cause irreversible damage to the whole network. This is a fragile ecosystem that is extremely vulnerable to human-induced pollution and disturbances. Tragically, this sea is considered one of the most polluted areas in the world. The ecosystems of the Baltic Sea are severely threatened and disturbed, mainly by eutrophication, destructive fishing practices and overfishing, loss of habitat and species, input of harmful substances, and intense maritime traffic. The good news is, it's not too late to bring the Baltic back from the edge. At Oceana, we believe that it is possible to get the countries to work together and exert the political will necessary to protect this fragile yet vital sea. Join me, Alexandra Cousteau, in supporting Oceana's Baltic Sea campaign and learn more about our work and this expedition at Oceana.org.